G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to take you on a hike which will show you some of the best views that the Navaji National Park has to offer. Stick around. Okay, so welcome to the Gibraltar Peak Trail. Just sort of kicked off. This is at the bottom of it. We're heading up to that peak, which is a sort of a rocky, rocky outcrop on the top of a top of the hill. It's called Gibraltar Peak, and uh, it's about three k's, three and a half k's out, and three and a half k's back. So not too far. Come about a kilometre or so far, so not too far to go. But um, yeah, beautiful day. Looking forward to sort of just sucking in some sun and enjoying the, enjoying the warmth for a change. Haven't had a great deal of warmth this, this spring so far, so I'm really, really keen to sort of just get out and get some vitamin D and recharge the batteries a little bit. Got a big few weeks coming up as, as everyone does around Christmas time. It's always a pretty busy time, so it's one of the few chances I'm gonna to get to get out and it happens to be a beautiful day, so. Why would I um why would I be at work today, I reckon, eh? Anyway, sorry to my boss. I did uh I did put in for some leave right at the eleventh hour. Um hopefully you'll see it and he won't be too miffed. He's a pretty good bloke. Okay, huh? Oh, gonna get cracking and get up the top of this hill and show you what it'll show you these magnificent views. Just as I was uh, sort of walking past that little creek, I was just sort of getting myself back in order and water, one of those water dragon lizards came scurrying out, scared the living crap out of me. They're a real dinosaur looking kind of thing. I didn't get a photo of him, but I, I've seen plenty of them around. I've got a photo, I'll show you, show you what they look like. But uh, yeah, <laughs> they scared the crap out of me just then. Anyway, all good, let's keep going. so nice to be walking on a track that's not, you know, just covered in water, and mud, and bog, and slush. There's a few, a few patches where they put some, uh, some pavers, and stepping stones, and some planks, and some things to walk across so we don't upset things too much, because it has been raining a lot. But I tell you, it's nice to have dry feet for a change. It's also good to be working up a sweat for a change. Very cool. Whew. Up, up, up. Getting the heart pumping. Bloody beautiful. What a day. That's uh, Tidbin Billa Deep Space Tracking Station. There used to be one at Honeysuckle Creek, which is a bit further south, which is where they recorded the first moon landing. And then they closed that down and they moved out here to, to Tidbin Billa. Pretty cool. You can imagine how nice the stars are out here in the mountains when the sun goes down. Awesome. Bird Sanctuary, 
dead, dead gum trees. Galahs and cockatoos and all sorts of birds make these their home. So I don't get sad when I see them, I get happy. That is so cool. Imagine how cool that tree was before it got burned. I wonder why it grew like that. Anyway, plenty of home for birds and lizards and things. Spiders. That is so cool. Big grunt of boulders. Pretty common around this part of the world. There you go. We're three kilometers in, so you just told me. That was a great fan tail. Super inquisitive, you'll come over in a minute. Maybe not, it'll just fuck off. <laughs> it's weird, they usually come and say hello. Grass trees. I suspect they were planted. In fact, I'd guarantee they were planted, but they're pretty cool. Xantharias. There you go, wombat turds. For some reason, they always take their dumps on logs or rocks or somewhere prominent anyway. It's kind of like, yeah, here I am. Watch me, I'm taking a dump. Crazy little bastards. They're pretty cool though, I love wombats. Got a friend called Fatso. And I've got a, got a video about wombat turds if you wanna, wanna check it out, I'll link it down below. See, told ya. Yeah, pretty bloody special up here, as I said. Some of the best views around. Like, I don't know whether it's because it's my backyard, that's where I live, but I just love this part of the world. You can't hear anything I'm saying because of the wind. There's two boulders down there on that rock. It's crazy. Anyway, I've got, I'm gonna grab a coffee. I made brought a coffee with me, so I'm gonna knock up a coffee and Soak in this sunshine and all this magnificence and fill up the tank. Don't know when we'll get another nice day like this, so hasn't been many, there have been few and far between the last few weeks, so I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. Complain about this. What a day. Absolutely magnificent. Okay. 
Okay. Well, hope you enjoyed this little hike up to Gibraltar Peak here in Tidbinbilla Nature Park Reserve. We're uh, surrounded by the Namaji National Park here and the Brindabella Ranges. The, just so you understand how it all sort of fits together, the Brindabella Ranges and uh, is in New South Wales and the Namaji National Park is in the ACT, so the border of the, the state border is the boundary between those two areas and then Tibbin Billa sort of sits in the in the Nomadji National Park at a, it's a nature reserve that's sort of a little bit separate and uh, it's just a magnificent place there's just so many things to do out here in Tidbin Billa whether you're a, you know I used to bring our kids out here when they were when they were babies there's little playgrounds and all sorts of things that are all nature based and you know lots of fun for the for the kids right through to you know 30k 40k hikes but uh yeah, challenge, challenge the best of us. So, but it's just a, it's just a magnificent part of the world. I just love being out here. It's, you know, just being in the Australian bush. Just look at it. How can you, how can you not like it? It's just every part of Australia is just amazing. And uh, I come out here and I just get a, I get home and I'm full of energy and it's like I've recharged the battery or something and ready to go. So yeah. But yeah, thanks for joining me. Got a, about another three k's back to the car, and then an hour or so back home. And uh, yeah, I'll get stuck into the weekend. But thanks for joining me out in Nunavut country, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, stay safe.